One thing about aquaponics, you don't have to worry about watering anything. <laughs> uh, once everything's set up, you can monitor it. If you have the right system, you can just monitor this thing system, and it runs itself. That's another reason why I love aquaponics. Let me feed these guys. This is tank number two, the baby bluegill. They're not babies anymore, but, you know, they're, they're about an inch and a half long now. Well, something like that. Give them a little food. Then we're going to go over here to what all this fish waste that's converted from ammonia to nitrite to nitrate down here in the sump. In the biomedia chamber down there. And look at these strawberries. Man, these things are just growing bigger and bigger every day. I'm gonna have to look at these peppers. I'm gonna have to separate these peppers pretty soon. There's a pepper, there's a pepper, there's a tomato, and of course, we have these guys that are still blooming. But over here, we have something else I'm gonna be showing you here in a minute. We have something else. Spin around here, get on this side. I'm gonna show you what we have. What we have in here is starting to hatch. Look at that. We have purple tree collar greens and southern collar greens all in here. They're starting to come up through this hydrogen clay that's on a heat mat. This is how I'm starting to do some of my seeds now, see? See that? Water's down here, heat mat. Comes up, climate control. I put these in here like uh, five days ago and the seeds are starting to sprout. So we're gonna have some collard greens, uh, southern collard greens and uh, purple tree collard greens here in a minute. And then I'll be replanting them once they get to a certain size. Aquaponics, grow some food, grow some fish.